literally thousands of domain names delete every single week. This is due to various reasons. One, bankruptcy, people and companies going bankrupt so they don't renew the domain name. Two, people forget to renew their domain names and this can happen to companies as well. And three, people just have had enough of that particular project and want to move on to new pastures so they just allow their domain name to delete. And this opens up massive opportunities for people in the know because some of these domain names retain their SEO values and at the very least it gives you the opportunity to pick up some fantastic keyword rich domain names that weren't on the market before because they've been registered years ago. So in the next section, I'm gonna show you how to what is known as backorder a deleting domain name to maximum effect. Backordering basically means you put in an order for a currently registered or deleting domain should it delete. You can do this with pretty much any backordering service. And when a domain deletes from the register, it usually enters what's known as an open drop, meaning various different backordering services can take part in competing for the drop. If it's a closed drop, it means only certain backordering services or registrars can compete. And the great thing about backordering is that you can literally backorder any domain name on the planet and you only pay on success. Although if more than one person backorders it with the same winning service, then they'll put you into an auction together. So if there's two of you, they'll put you in. If there's three of you, they'll put all three of you into an auction. Some backordering services will put it into an open auction, meaning anyone from the public can enter it. Some backordering services will put you into a public auction, even if you're the only bidder but I'm gonna show you a strategy of how to avoid this. So let's take a look at the domain life cycle. Well, you obviously don't need to back order if the domain is available, so if it's new or if it's already deleted, there's no need to back order it because it's available. So we'll ignore these two sections. You can back order in this section here, so you can back order if a domain is actually just registered and isn't in any kind of expired phase whatsoever, but the chances of the domain actually deleting gets better as you move down the line. So into auto in new grace period, you know that if a domain's in that section that someone somewhere hasn't renewed it before this section, so they're not hugely careful and precious about their domain. And it gets even better if it's moved into redemption grace period and then finally it comes into pending delete where it's a dead cert that it's going to delete. Now I've ordered domains in all four of these sections and obviously statistically the further towards the right you go the greater the chance is that the de domain will actually delete. Um, but I have had some you know quite a few nice surprises in the past where I've kind of back ordered a domain in the uh, registered and happy section and only to get an email a couple of years later telling me that I'm now the proud owner of the domain name. So it's worth putting the back order in, especially if it, you, know, you only pay on success. Now the back ordering strategy I'm gonna show you is called the triple barrel back order, a bit of a mouthful I know. But this involves three different services and if you like the domain, it's always worth back ordering it because like I say, you only ever pay on success. So this is how it works. You have a deleting domain and you back order it with namejet.com, pool.com and snapnames.com. Right now these guys only charge you on success and as far as I know unless something has changed drastically recently they will only put you into a public auction if there's more than one person back ordering it with them. I could obviously back order with lots more back ordering services, but um, with time being of the essence, I like to back order with these three because they're three of the biggest services and I get a good enough 
success rate with them. And by all means, feel free to back order with other services. But like I say, check the terms and conditions because the last thing you want is if you win the domain with that back ordering service, that they put you into a public auction with you being the first bidder, which just wouldn't be fair if you were the only one to actually bring everyone's attention to that actual domain. So let's go through the process then. Let's back order a domain using these three services. Now, I happen to know someone that owns a stationary business and he sells lots of envelopes. So I have become aware of a domain that's uh, deleting soon and it's called Envelopes Online. So the suffix there is online, um, but that suffix, the online, creates an actual key phrase which is envelopes online, which people actually search on. So I'm going to be optimizing for the key phrase, em, key word envelopes, and also the key phrase envelopes online. And I think it's a pretty good um, brandable domain for him as well. So envelopesonline.com. So what you need to do is set up an account with snapnames.com, namejet.com, and pool.com. And once you've logged in, you would come to the home page um, at Snap Names, for example, here, and we'll type in envelopes online and see what happens. As you can see here, it says order by the 27th of March. So I'm going to put my back order in now. Uh, with Snap Names, you have to go to the cart and then place your order. And it says there you've successfully entered an interest for these domain names. That's great. Envelopes online ordered with snap names. Now let's do it with Namejet. Again it's saying pending delete here so Let's bid on this. Of course, I'm already logged into this. So place my bids now. And away we go. Congratulations, your bids have been placed. So finally, let's go to pool.com and type in envelopes online. Again, it gives me the option to back order now, so away we go. And it's added, so it's now back ordered with all three. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to back order deleting domain names, and you only have to pay on success if you go to the right services. And to get good exposure, it's prudent to back order with all three of the services I mentioned, namejet.com, snapnames.com, and pool.com and if you're really really want the domain name then try some more services as well just to uh, hedge your bets but always check the terms and conditions to make sure that they don't put you into a public auction if you're the only bidder so back order and deleting domains provides a massive opportunity to land domains that were never available before and it allows you to capitalize on someone else's lack of prudence.